glow. Right, we're just about to leave. We are at We are at Bingley As in Bradford and Bingley I never knew there was a place called Bingley I don't know why I never put the two and two together No idea So we are at Bingley Heading south I've tipped It's a 20 foot box and she was Fucking fat as. We were loaded right up to the max. So I'll just put you on that. I'm, I'm going to get down to Woolly Edge and then pull over and um, reassess the situation and try and work out where I'm going to go. So I'm not going to get back tonight. But, but in true Mercedes fashion, I've got to get back to the dealership tomorrow. Breakdown, here we go. Hello? Hello? Oh, you've gone quiet on me. Um, I can just about hear you, yeah. Oh, hang on, it's all gone a bit silent. The Bluetooth hasn't worked, so I can't hear you. Can I give you a call back in about 20, half an hour? Okay, thanks, sorry, I just can't hear you and I can't touch the screen. Cheers, bye. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. And Bluetooth hasn't, no, it's not working. Ugh. But ain't one thing, it's another. So when I get the woolly edge, I'll phone them up as well. After but it looks like I'm... Um, left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A650. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Air Valley Road. So yeah, um, DPF after treatment light come up again. I can't get out of here. It's a pretty solid old um, level of traffic. Pretty solid, solid level of traffic coming on down here. So unless someone's gonna, no. Either let me out, or we've got a blank space like we have now. So I've got no idea which way this is going to take me now. if it takes me back the same way. Oh, it's a lay no, no. I say there's a lay-by there, but it's not a lay-by, it's lay-by except for an emergency. Handy. So yeah, DPF regeneration, it's not working. Um slow traffic on M6. I don't know what's going on. E20 traffic jam ahead between Cole Pigley and the E62 Gelder Road. Three minutes delay. So it's back into the dealers tomorrow. Google wants to take me another way, but as I'm in a truck, I'm not going to risk that. So we're right up north. North, north. And 
there doesn't seem to be a straightforward road or if there is sat nav isn't taking me the way because I'll come through a right old convoluted that's old canal isn't it right convoluted old way to get here see if it takes me back the same way or whether it's some um, weird and wonderful I know there's nothing difficult about the, the journey in but, um, the road so I don't know how far I'm going to get down the road done five and a half hours of driving already I started it Half two, quarter three. Still want to be a trucker? Just make you do. So as long as the DPF doesn't go into uh, to, to sling it into limp mode, um, should be a nice steady run down. Like I say, I don't know how far I'm going to get. About two and a half, three hours, something like that, my drive time before I'm thinking about pulling over. See where I can get to. Two hundred and fifty-eight mile down to Southampton. Was left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A650 Bradford Road. Well, it's 260 odd, I, I suspect, 258 now, and I've already done a few miles. So, probably about 260 uh, miles. It's a fair way. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. The River Air. It's quite pretty round here. Green and lush. Lots of hills. She had to work hard this morning. Although saying that, we still got managed, even fully freighted, and we were fully freighted to get nine miles of the gallon out of her. Okay. Get going. No mess tins. I think this was the way I came in. Mercure Hotel, yeah. Creaking, we're empty, we're going to be clanking about. Where's the bus lane that I could go into? Um, so, why haven't you gone into it? You should go into it, but it's likely to run out any second. to zip on by me, I'm, I'm doing 35 and a 40, so I bet as soon as I get around here, see the it's not really wide enough, it make a bus lane and it's not even wide enough for a bus, I'm right on that white line, that's a 30. Saltaire. Down here somewhere on the left is a, I saw a sign saying World Heritage Site. I'm sure somebody will uh, put me straight as to what's all that about. Was it the way the, uh, is the old Victorian um, mill houses or something? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing, but I can't be 100% certain on that. through there? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm sure
Oh, did I come from the left there? Funny feeling I did. This time they're taking me back straight down there, which is fine because there's other lorries going that way, which is good. I did yeah I came from down there to the left where that coach is coming out if you can see it that's where I came from but it's not taking me down there it's taking me back this way is only come on okay that's good because that wasn't particularly fun coming up through there and it doesn't look fun going back down, so I'm glad I'm going this way. Little boy, this is quite... Okay. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> so if anything, anybody knows anything about this World Heritage site here, um, let me know, because I'm... You know, every day is a school day. I like to be educated. Sometimes you see things, but you only see them glimpse and then you forget. So, by me talking out loud on here, Sotom and Saltair, S A L T A I R E. There's some fabulous old buildings here. Was that where I came out of? I came out of that one there. I remember the ring of bells. Remember the pub. You remember everything by pubs, don't you? Well, I do anyway. Yeah, ring of bells. So it's down that road and to the left is where the World Heritage Site is. And I only, can only assume that it's it's the, the terraces of mill houses, maybe a mill, I don't, I don't know. Or fish and chips. I could just do fish and chips. Oh, I've got a squeaky trailer. She's squeaking well. After 900 feet, turn left a 6038 Otley Road, then take the second right. Follow that truck. Turn left, then take the second right. It's a bit on the tight side. Come on. Side. Definitely is follow those trucks. After 600 feet, turn right at 6037 Valley Road. I think I came out of here. Turn right. I have a bit of room there. Yeah, I came out of here. I came up from this way to the right. I remember Akbar's King of Curries. <laughs> Remember the sign. Guys, it's Gilden Bent. 
green light. I remember the scrapyard. And these people, they, they like to cut the corner. But as I can't nip the curb there, because it's a really high curb. Way we came. An old pub there closed. Cyclist, here we fucking go. Come on, pedal on my son, so I've got no hope of getting by you. Might be able to get past him down here by these hatch markings. But he's going to go, yeah, why don't you get by me? Well, I can't, mate. I've got to give you two and a half metres, isn't it? Something ridiculous. Heading back towards Bradford now. What are you doing? Did you even look? Either way? <laughs> oh, bless them. The old bump that was, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember this from this morning. Sandwich fan, next right. Fast food, another sign. And there is, there is. They're not lying. Nowhere for me to park though. Alright, it's 15.6. I'm 14.6. After half a mile, keep right. Stay around here somewhere. 
not entirely sure what lane I want to be in. After a quarter of a mile, keep right, then keep left. I do. It's dealership alley down here. My fuel consumption should go up. No, I'm on nine miles of the gallon. On 89.9 feet, keep right, then keep left. Keep right, then keep left. Sure if that makes any sense whatsoever, but keep just, left. Keep left, yes, keep left. Oh, another bump here. So I'm taking it that to my right is Bradford. We seem to be getting back a lot quicker than the way we got than the time it took us to get in this morning. It seemed to take forever. Stay where I am. Maybe not. I can just stay here. Find out in a minute. of a mile, bear right, A650, Shipley Airdale Road, then keep left. Okay, so stay here more or less, I think. Apparently there's bears to my right. A650. Bear right. Then keep left. <laughs> Is the light staying kind to me? Yeah. Whoa, what's going on down there? Chaos. Spot on tow needed to, nearly needed to be towed. That bulker nearly wiped a man. After 900 feet, keep left. Left, where are you going, Minnie? 
Look at indecisive. It's going to change. I'm going to have to stop. I'm have to stop. No, no, no. We kept it going. Oh, he's heavy. Come on, my son. Push on. There, we got to get into that right hand lane. Keep left. I'd like to, but I'll go into a bus lane. Come on. Cycle path, one or the other. Come on! Why make the crawler lane come to a stop? Roundabout and take the third exit, A650 Wakefield Road. Shit, road planning there. Now, if I'd have been really heavy, I might have had to have come to a stop then, and then might have struggled to get going in the wet. Straight across. Uh, we've got that indecisive mini there. I'm a nice man. Round about and take the third exit, A650 Wakefield Road. We've got a lot of room to come round here, for two of us. <laughs> they made a cycle path where there isn't one. Where there isn't room for one. So the cyclists are fine, but the road users nearly have a coming together. Brilliant. Thank you. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with cyclists, you know, I really don't, but... <laughs> How many cyclists do you see using this thing at the moment? Uh, none. You know, he nearly, we hit that bloke there, old Sulco there, he had to hang back because there wasn't room for two of us to go round. Whereas there would have been if the cycle lane hadn't have been about fucking 40 for the point. straight through the red light. Must be late for his lunch. Yeah, a jollop. Good job I've got another can. Here we go. We're off. this church there well it's not so old it's probably a fairly recent church as these churches go up for sale and the Lord didn't provide where are you going apart from like that you bastard no apparently not I'm going around this found about to the right Oh, hang on. I need to go up here. Bear left, then get right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Okay. Yep. After 600 feet, get right on the roundabout and take the third exit, a 6177 Rue Lane. Is that halal, man? See, this is really narrow here. There's a car trying to come up on the outside. Jesus. Not 
Not enough room, my friend. Whoa, what are you all about? Take the exit. Down here. Yeah, they must have been badass Christians to have their church sold from underneath them. <laughs> They're sinners. Sorry if I offend any of you that are Christians. Or that way inclined. I'm not. I need to be in that left hand lane. I think I can be. Go for the left hand lane. Um, yeah, I'm not. Green light. Uh, Peugeot 206. Yeah, I'm not a Christian by any way, shape or form. Well that took half an hour, it took nearly an hour this morning to get along there. After a quarter of a mile, bear left, N606, then take the move away. <laughs> bear left, is that here? It's not there, is it? No, I struggle with that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, that would have taken some doing. If I could have got it down there, that would have been um, pretty impressive. Bear left, then... No bears on my left. Here we go. The M six oh six motorway. Yay. Left on 
exit. Speed on! And if this lane just keeps on going, I don't think it does so. Gotta move across. Yep. What's with the delays here? Just let me in, dickhead. Made my life a little bit more difficult than he needed to. Is that his flashy lights on or did he just put them on then? Sure. I think in a second you're going to have a truck go by you with an empty, what they, uh, what they call a skeleton trailer, which is what we load the uh, boxes onto, the containers onto. So you'll see a trailer go by, it's got nothing on it. So it's this. Here he comes. No. So that's what an empty skeleton trailer looks like. Oh, and I'm going on ahead of him now. Maybe. So he's got that set up for 220s. The thing is, you can see the two arms at the back with the pins in it. Those should be in running mode when you're driving down a road like that, should be folded up and in. So they shouldn't be sticking out the back like that. Could technically get done for it, I guess. They want to be really picky. Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's got no boxes on.
lot of traffic. Oh, there's some old dog of a truck. Old Daff, I think. Uh, We've actually been over, given the nod. Make a bit of ground. We're not coming off there. trailer she's a bit of a squealer <laughs> maybe I should have that as a t-shirt I don't reckon I'd get away with it myself along with the other ideas I had which was she's fucking heavy and she's got a fair bit of weight behind her gorgeous gear one too impressed <laughs> yeah, next one. She's a bit of a squealer. <laughs> oh, so true. What is she? I wonder if I can move back over. I reckon I can. Let's do that. There we go. Jobs are good. Un. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Ranger, you just look at your phone while you're driving along. Four miles.
We're a long way over from home, from Germany. So the plan is get as far down as I can. Um, done six and a quarter hours now. I tend to do eight hours and then think about finding somewhere to stop. We get to uh, eight hours, so between eight and nine hours. Generally pull over before nine anyway. And. Uh, about how I'm going to get down for tomorrow morning. So I've got some time in Zat, have a look on the old um, Zat Nav, see how far I can get down. Oh, I'd, I'd, off the top of my head I can't. It's probably about 70 odd mile down to the red line. So that's an hour and nearly an hour and a half, just under. And then um, two hours of getting me to Cherwell Valley. So it could be Cherwell Valley. And another 45 to. Um, I need to be in this left hand lane, I think I'll do. Hang on, then one south, no, this lane. Stay as you are, stand easy. Sound the back of that caravan then. After 1.2 miles, keep right. The old codgers living the dream. Spending the kids' inheritance. Uh, fair play. Eighteen degrees. That'll be us in a couple of weeks' time. Five and a half weeks. Big old caravan there. Eh? Oh, a bit of late lane swapping. Mr. Ranger, still on his phone. Still on his phone. Yeah, still on it.
exit M1, then take the middle way. A bit of rain here. Yeah? Ratchet strap right in the middle of the road. Fuck it. You don't want to be hitting that and letting that flick up on you. Let them come and overtake me if they want to. services we've got to make a phone call because my bluetooth hasn't hooked up hopefully they got the truck booked in for tomorrow morning Picturesque going through it. National Coal, Coal Mining Museum. Anyone ever been to that? Go to that um, hydro electro um, sort of. Um, I don't know if it's a museum, but it's a hydro electro plant in North Wales near Carnarvon. Or is it near Carnarvon? Or oh, somewhere up along the one of the valleys at the bottom of um, uh, you know what I mean. Anyone ever been to that either? It's um, I'll add 18th today. And how 
things change. Well, not change, but how things are different. I spent my 18th pissed right up with a couple of mates in Hamburg, behaving badly. And our lad, on his 18th, he's got two A-level exams. And I don't think, I, well, I think he's going out for a point tonight with a couple of mates. Because he's got exams again tomorrow, I think. So. <laughs> oh dear. Four miles. So that's, yeah, that's, that, that's a real, you know. I was on the lash in Hamburg for my 18th. And uh, it's funny how it came about, we were sat in a bar. Saturday lunchtime, and um, I said, oh, it happened to be my birthday, I better get the beers in. So, what do you mean, it's your, your birthday? You, you kept that quiet? <clears throat> I said, yeah. So, a couple of lads went, oh, we need to do a road trip then. Went, like, road trip? I said, yeah, yeah, we need to get on it. So, we've, um, No planning other than where are we going to go? Don't know. Uh, and I think someone went Hamburg. Right, let's go to Hamburg. It's probably about a couple of hours away, two, three hours, I don't know. I can't quite even remember how far it was. We were pissed by the time we got there. We got on a rampage in Hamburg then. We parked, we parked out, it was a my mate had a three litre Capri, white with a black vinyl roof. And it sounded really nice, because it was a three litre. And um, we parked down this alleyway, near the Reaper Barn, for those of you that know Hamburg. And uh, we parked, parked down this alleyway, abandoned the car, and just went on a piss. We yeah, didn't care, did we? So anyway, we got back to the car in the early hours of the morning, got in the car, went to sleep. To be rudely awakened by a lorry driver. <laughs> and he wanted to access, there was an alleyway down to a... Obviously where he wanted to go to deliver to. So, um, my mate, he got in a, you know, started the car up, drove forwards, drove around the corner. I don't even know if I, I vaguely remember waking up, but that was about vaguely. And then we, went back, we all went back to sleep again. Until about half nine, nine o'clock, when we were rudely awakened by the blitz sign. Because we hadn't just pulled into a street and parked up. No, we pulled straight for this alleyway and straight into this pedestrian precinct, shopping precinct. And we were parked with British Forces Germany plates on with four pissed up squaddies in it. Uh, the blitz sign weren't too impressed but told us if we moved now and quickly, they wouldn't do anything. So we did. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's how I spent my 18th birthday. Oh lad, he's having a point. going home for his tea, studying for exams. I know which one I'd rather do, but fair play to him because he's the clever one. He won't be driving a truck when he's fucking 55, unlike myself. Longest slip road ever to services. on forever look. I think I need to be in this right hand lane. Stopped here a good few times. Quite not, quite quiet. This service is a shit but it's quite quiet here. Oh Christ, looks a bit busy. Who 
Oh dear. There's, oh, there's one just pulled out. Excellent. I think I go down here. Look at that tailor made. Let's piss the caravan over off. Right. Get a 15 in. Mm. That one there. That. And I'll speak to you all later on.